Hello friends and fellow bibliophiles, welcome back to Cats and Novel Adventures. Today I want to share with you some adventures I had with my awesome friend Kelsey over at Slime and Slashers. For the last couple of years, she and I have gone fall and Halloween decor shopping together. We usually start off with lunch, then we go shop at some stores close to her house, and then we head back over to her house hang out and exchange our Halloween gifts. We always have a wonderful time together and this year was no exception. As you can see, we had a terrific time together. We had a lovely lunch at La Madeleine. We love La Madeleine. It is simple, it's quick, and it is delicious. And on our visit this time, I ran into a guy that I went to grammar school with. His name is Billy. And we chatted with him for a few minutes. Then he sent us a little pastry for dessert. So we were like so excited about that. So unexpected and it was very yummy. And then afterwards we did all of our shopping. So the first place that we visited was Bath and Body Works. I had visited Bath and Body Works with my husband probably at the beginning of August, it was during Garb August time, they did not have one of the candles that I really love, which is called Sweater Weather. So I was excited to go in because they were having a sale and I picked up my Sweater Weather. I not only picked up one, I picked up two because I like it so much and I'm afraid that what if I can't get it again? And then I also picked up Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun this one smells delicious. It is dessert in a jar. I love coffee mugs. So whenever we go to Marshall's and TJ Maxx and really even Kirkland's, which of course we couldn't go to Kirkland's this year, I like to look at what kind of mugs that they have for the holidays. When I went to Marshall's, I found one that was for the fall. I like big mugs and I like Snoopy also. So I found this one that is leaves are falling. So excited to find a fall one because really I only have like one or two of them. And what I also like is on the inside, it has a leaf. Oh, look how cute it is. It's Snoopy in Woodstock. And then we went to TJ Maxx. And at TJ Maxx, I was specifically looking for a shower curtain, 
that was fall and also a blanket that was fall because last year I was able to get a Halloween blanket and shower curtain. So I wanted fall ones so that I could change them out for the fall season, mostly for like November because I really would like November to be more fallish. But anyway, I did not find a shower curtain. They were all gone. We were kind of late with our shopping this year. And so a lot of things were, you know, already gone or had been picked through. So I ended up getting two more mugs. And of course, they're both snooping. And the first one is Boo, this green and white one. It's got Snoopy and that has to be Woodstock, the little ghost. And on this one, there's a little ghosty on the inside. Isn't that cute? And then I also got another mug. Now this one doesn't have anything on the inside and I think it's because it is black. It is Boo. So I got two Halloween ones and they have all the little ghosties on it. So very excited because I really do like those big mugs. And then I was very, very thrilled because I was able to buy myself a fall blanket. Actually, Kelsey found this one for me among the blankets because they were far and few between, but look how pretty. It's got pumpkins and sunflowers and fall leaves. So I'm very, very happy and it's so soft. I can't wait to snuggle in this. Our last stop was the Spirit Halloween store, which is always a fun place to visit. And I just picked up a couple of items because I didn't really need any Halloween decor per se this year. I was looking more for some fall items. So I just got a cup. It's Nightmare Before Christmas. It's the Our Town of Halloween. And it's got Jack on the other side. And then I picked up a shot glass for Friday the 13th. So there's our Friday the 13th. Sorry about the glare. And Jason Voorhees. I was going to use this to make the Jason Voorhees uh, drink for Friday the 13th. I didn't get to do that because there was a slight possibility I was going to have to go to my mom and dad's house um, to help my dad with my mom. So I couldn't be drinking and driving. And then I also got a button called Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. And that was for Friday the 13th as well. And then because I made a donation to their Halloween spirit activities they do with kids, I got a little band that says, I love spirit of children. I just made a donation to that and I got to ring the bell. It was a lot of fun. But that was all that we got into for shopping. Well, at least what I got into with shopping. You should check out Kelsey's channel because she did a vlog of our shopping experiences and she ended up buying a lot more this year than I did. Now it's show and tell time and I get to show you all of the fantastic gifts that Kelsey gave to me, including these beautiful glasses. Kelsey always gives the best gifts and she always puts them in a really great gift bag. And this year that was no exception. Look how cute that little kitty cat is. I love kitty cats and I love that she always gives me kitty cat items because I happen to love cats. They are my favorite animal. As you can see from a few minutes ago, I was wearing my new glasses. They make me look hideous, which is the point because I want to look spooky, but these are awesome in my opinion. I love them. She also got me some vinyl uh, gel clings, not really vinyl, gel. <laughs> I still need to put these in my window. Can you tell that I'm a little bit behind? But I love them. I love the way they feel. They're very squishy. She got me some great kitty cat socks. I haven't taken these out of the package either, but I will. I mean, I still have time. Halloween is still a couple of weeks away, but I really do like them. And then she always gives me like a little baggie with treats in it. In fact, this baggie had the uh, eyeglasses in it, but I got myself some finger puppets. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm from the country, even though I live in the country, okay. Oh Lord, my guy, he's squishing. But these are cute. They have a little puppet show. Ooh, 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 give me a love. 
Happy Halloween. So it's my finger puppets. I should bring those to school with me and see how my Title I kids, um, what they think about it. And then I have some spider rings. So if I want to be fancy, get myself some spider rings. And I have them in multiple colors. I have them in this purple, an orange, a blue, as well as this green. So that's fun. And then I have myself a little tablet. Boo! Boo to you. Look at that. Awesome. So that's a little bagging. Then I got myself some stickers. I love stickers. I love sending out cards. And whenever I send out cards, whether it's for birthday, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, whenever I send them out, I like to put stickers all over my envelopes and inside my cards. So these are great. And then this is a fantastic print. It is of a kitty cat. I need to open it. I love this so much. Look at this. It's a black cat. Beautiful. I'm going to hide behind you so you can see it. This reminds me of Edgar Allan Poe because he wrote the story of the black cat and it looks like he this cat is reading Edgar Allan Poe to me. I need to make a little shelf with Edgar Allan Poe stuff because I really like it but I need to find a frame for it so I can put that on my shelf. Well she also got me a card. I'm going to show you the card which I like the card very much too. It's cute. Bones to be wild. <laughs> And then she got me three books. So I was very excited about these books. The first one is called The Man Who Was Poe. This is by Avi. I have not read this. I've heard of it, but I haven't read it. I have read books by Avi, but not this particular one. And I'm excited because I want to do something for Edgar Allan Poe's birthday in January. So this would be the perfect book to read for that. Then I have The Legend of Decimus Croom, A Halloween Carol by Kevin Purdy. I noticed Kelsey talking about this on her channel, and I was like, I would love that because I love the original Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and I also like retellings. So this would be fantastic for the spooky season. Not going to get to it this spooky season, but definitely could get to it next year. Kelsey knows how much I love zombies, so this is great. It's called I Saw Zombies Eating Santa Claus, A Breather's Christmas Carol by S.G. Brown. That is fantastic. I am so excited because I love zombies, and this would be perfect for the Christmas season, which is not too far off. So I guess you can figure out what one of my books might be on my December TBR. Well, that's my shopping adventures with Kelsey, as well as everything I picked up. It was a mini Halloween fall haul, and I loved all the gifts that I received from Kelsey. She's a great gift giver and a lot of whimsy to it, a lot of fun, just really does give me a happiness boost and brings me a lot of joy. Just hanging out with Kelsey brings me a lot of joy. So anyway, as always, I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for your support. Is there anything special you got for the Halloween or fall season that you added to your decor in your home or your job or wherever? Let me know in the comments below if you've got something special that you picked up this holiday season or if you also picked up any new books for this holiday season. I'd like to know that as well. In the meantime, stay amazing and be adventurous.